on YouTube. Welcome back to Scent of South Jersey with me, Kellen, for another fragrance review. Today we're going to be taking a look at a fragrance from 1993 classified as a woody floral musk from the house of Chanel. This is a flanker to the original Egoist. This is Egoist Platinum by Chanel. So um, what we're gonna do, as we do in all of my individual fragrance reviews, is break down the fragrance into five parts. First, taking a look at the box and the bottle presentation. Then I'll go over the notes, pick out which ones I can detect, if any at all. And then I'll talk about its performance based on my experience wearing the fragrance, and then give it my overall thoughts, and then of course the overall rating. Before we jump into the review, if it's your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, again, the channel's growing, and I can't thank you all enough for uh, how far we've come. If you have an Instagram, go ahead and check out the Sense of South Jersey Instagram page for news and updates on the channel, photos of fragrances from my collection, daily scent of the day post, and of course info on when the next video is going to drop. If you are interested in checking out or purchasing fragrances directly from my collection, I leave the link in the description below to my Mercari page. This is where I sell stuff that I've reviewed or that I'm just not wearing anymore for other people to enjoy, and it you know makes room for new fragrances in my collection and make new videos about, etc. And um, as far as the two uh, affiliate links I have for the two different clothing companies. One is Aurelius Apparel, the Marcus Aurelius themed uh, fitness shirts, and the other one is Masudo. Masudo does a lot of pattern button downs, really nice shirts. Those links are in the description as well. So um, let's get into this review of Egoist Platinum by Chanel. Okay, so we're going to start things off with the presentation. So this is the box here. Um, you know, again, it's going to be very reflective, so just bear with me. You're going to see the ring light and all that stuff. So very, very minimalist presentation, which is very Chanel, I think, especially for the men's fragrance. This is an aftershave because I got the aftershave right off the Chanel website where I bought the other bottle from somebody else, the EDT, that just, it was full, what they were not wearing it. Um, so Chanel logo on top. It's very hard to got because it's so reflective. Some information on the back there, and then you know you got your barcode on the bottom. You know from from here you'll be able to see it. It's a nice looking box. It's very sleek, just like their intakes. They don't they don't have a lot of crazy things going on. They do of course have a French wrapper inside, and you can see the embossed Chanel there. Whereas here you know it actually is above there. The batch code on this aftershave is zero two zero one. Um, so, you know, taking a look at that now, we're gonna look at the bottle. Same type of thing, it looks just like the regular Ego East bottle, except the cap is shiny silver, hence the name platinum versus the black cap. And, uh, you know, it's just, again, minimalist, but I think that works to their favor. I really like the presentation. Let's see the Chanel sprayer here. Very wide, big spray. Um, great presentation, simple, but effective. Okay, so as far as the notes go for Chanel's um, Egoise Platinum, in the top we have lavender, rosemary, neroli, and pettigrain. And then in the middle or the heart of the fragrance, there's geranium, clary sage, galbanum, and jasmine. And then in the base of this fragrance, we have oak moss, vetiver, cedar, sandalwood, and amber. Um, from my experience, I really think you can pick up on the lavender and the rosemary. I think you can pick up on you know some of the green notes, the sage, the oak moss, and definitely some of the vetiver. Um, the other and and a little bit actually a little bit of the sandalwood, which would make sense because it's a flanker to the original, which is one of the greatest sandalwood fragrances ever. Um, but, but the other ones, I'm not 100% sure, but at least those are the ones that you know, given my experience with the smell, make the most sense. Okay, let's talk about the performance. Um, and I actually got some feedback from some people that said they really didn't get good performance from this one. Uh, and I was like, like a little worried when I was, you know, when it was in shipment to me because the original one get great performance. This one, my experience is very good. Easily eight to nine hour performer. Um, I really, I smell it in the air. Like when I think it's gone, I'll like sit back in my car and I'll just get a huge hint of it, whiff of it. And I'm like, oh, it's still there. And it definitely lasts on clothing too. So um, potential nose blind to it. May, like maybe that's what's happening to me. Oh, fact of fatigue. Like when I think it's it's over, but it's really not. And then I, you know, you move around and something catches off your shirt and you still smell it. Like that's why clothing is important too. But even on skin, it's, it's there. Um, so I think the performance with this one is very good. And this is a newer bottle too. Um, you know, I consider getting a vintage, but I feel like there's no need when it comes to performance wise. So, um, and I'll get into my other thoughts on that later, but yeah, this is no slouch in performance easily eight to nine hours. All right, so it's time for my overall thoughts. 
on Chanel's Ecoise Platinum. So, you know, I admittedly slept on this one for a long time, especially, you know, because I was gifted by my dad, the original Ecoise. And that one is, again, I can't praise it enough, one of the best sandalwood fragrances ever. It smells so nice. I love wearing it, especially in the winter time. So, you know, I remember trying this one in a Sephora a long time ago, and I remember spraying a bunch of it on my hand and then being like, oh God, it smelled too metallic. And I get that people have messaged me, hey, isn't that metallic? And you know, I've said it's metallic. I've said I didn't like it. And I was telling the truth, I didn't like that smell. But years later, this year really, <laughs> I remember having it in just two sprays and then letting it kind of settle down because I think I judged it too quickly um, based off of just spraying a ton of it on my hand and then immediately going like that because that's when it does smell metallic. But if you let it settle down, it's a lot greener. And I think Chanel uh, Ecoise Platinum smells best in the air. And that's where I'm like, oh yeah, this is very nice. Uh, and it's, it's again, it's long lasting too. So you're gonna get a lot of opportunity to smell it in the air. The, you know, it has those classic barbershop notes like the rosemary, the lavender, um, the oak moss. And, you know, those notes, those green notes, traditional green notes, I've always enjoy. And I think that it's done very nice, but it's, it's like a whole new take, it, but it's a true flanker. It's a whole new take on the original Ego East because there's hints of sandalwood, that original DNA in the very dry down, but otherwise it's a different fragrance, but they take a little bit of that DNA from the original one, um, as opposed to it just kind of smelling slightly different, but the same thing. Like you think of the insane amount of Aqua de Joe um, flankers. Some are great, some are, you know, just a forgettable in my opinion. I love Profumo, but you know, some of the other ones I'm like, yeah, it smells like the original, maybe a little bit different here or there, but this one, is really nice. This one is like a Profumo. It, it, it does, it's a separate thing it has, but the, in the dry down, there's a little, there's a little bit of the original Ego East. Um, it reminds me of a very high-end clothing store fragrance. I think it inspired fragrances like this, like Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce, which was one that I wore, you know, my first year of college and, and, and the last year of high school a lot. Um, when Abercrombie Fitch was huge, when I worked there on the summer and winter break from college. And it smells like the adult, more mature version of that. This could definitely be a signature scent. It could definitely be an office scent. Um, I think it could be a great night out scent too. It's high end smelling. It's very high quality. You could wear it all year round. However, I think it does fit best if you're gonna pick seasons when it comes to um, fall, winter, and springtime, because it, it is a, a good performer too. So you might want something a little lighter, a little fresher in the summer, but I wore it in the heat here and I loved it. Um, you know, they have other body line products. They have a deodorant, um, which I like. It is an alcohol-based deodorant, but it works. So the thing with this is you gotta use it before it, the deodorant shrinks up because it does dry itself out. The one, I don't know why they still make those like that, but they do, um, but it is really high quality. You don't sweat. Um, I just don't use alcohol deodorants all the time though because I do get a skin irritation and they have an aftershave too and this is my scent of the day I shaved and used this put that up on the Instagram page now the aftershave is like a citrus version of the original I got sandalwood and citrus in it it was interesting so it's pretty cool how it smells slightly different and then they have a deodorant spray um, and look at that, look at this dent in there. That, that came from Chanel, the Chanel website like that. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, really? It, like that's how you, you guys are unbelievable. You know, a high-end designer and they send me that too. So this one sort of smells, it smells a little bit like the freight. Like if you were gonna get, if you were gonna not get any of the Bodyline products, just skip this one. I, I got it because I like this stuff and I'll use it, I'll throw it in my gym bag, but it doesn't smell that much like this. It actually doesn't smell like great at all. It's, it's okay, it's good for just what I said, but. The fragrance itself is, is really, really nice. It is expensive if you're getting it from the retail, but the quality does speak for itself. I definitely give this one, uh, I'll give one a good rating. All right, guys, now it's time for my overall ratings for Chanel's Ego East Platinum. Um, the, the presentation is very Chanel, um, and they go for that, just like minimalist, but looks high end. They don't need to have anything crazy on, but I like it, it's classy. We're gonna give it an eight out of 10 for the presentation. As far as the performance goes, like I said, it's pushing nine. I think it's pushing more than that, because I know my girlfriend has said, I smell good and it's been the next morning, but we'll give it a nine out of 10 for the performance. And as far as the scent goes, um, you know, uh, is it better than the original one? I don't know. I love the original one, but it is still really good. 
and um, it's just an extremely classy scent too. So eight and a half out of 10 for the scent. And that's gonna bring the overall rating from me for Chanel's Egoist Platinum to eight and a half out of 10. Okay guys, that's gonna wrap it up for me. That's my review of Chanel's Egoes Platinum. And I would love to hear from you guys. What do you think about this one? Tell me in the comment section, do you like the original? Do you like this one? Were you like me? You found out that you like this one way after the fact. Uh, do you have a preference or dislike or like both of them? Um, you know, guys know I always appreciate all the interaction. So please let me know in the comment section. And again, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to do so. If you have an Instagram, go ahead and check out the Instagram page. Again, follow it at Sense of South Jersey. All of the links for the Mercari, Aurelius Apparel, and Masuda are all in the description below. Guys, thanks so much for watching the video and hanging out with me today, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.